Ah, look what came today. I'm totally stoked. It's the Helinox Cot 1 convertible. Let's uh let's go take a look. Uh, let's set the mood a little bit better. Wait, wait, wait. I think it's um it's missing something. Hold on. Well, let's open this puppy up. So if you've been on the Gilinox website at all, or if you know anything about the Gilinox chair, you know that these products are fairly expensive. And um, this particular one I could not find on Amazon. They've got the cot. They've got the Gilinox cot light which is, I'm a middle-aged, somewhat heavy guy, so uh, that cot light was just on the edge of, of what I would support, so I figured I'd go with something heavier. I looked at the cot max, and it was a little bit too long for my, my tent. I mean, it's right at the bottom base of the tent, same size as that, so I figured I would go with the cot one, the normal cot. However, the normal cot, they have a new one called the convertible. And REI stocks them, or is supposed to stock them, but they said it would take 30 days to get, or more than 30 days, or a minimum of 30 days. Uh, Cabela's didn't carry it at all. And Amazon had the COT1, but not the COT1 convertible. And the difference between the COT1 and the COT1 convertible, I think, I don't know for sure, but I believe the COT1 convertible has the ability to add additional leg support on the bottom, so you can raise it up about 15 inches off the ground. The regular COT1 so I ordered it online from Helinox's website directly, and what I found is they are in South Korea. So when I ordered it, I assumed it would take a month to get, but it actually took, I don't know, four or five days. I think I ordered it on Saturday or Sunday in today's Good Friday. And they clearly packaged it well. Lightweight outdoor adventure equipment. As you can see, I've got the Helinox table and I have the Helinox chair. I'll try and do a review on those sometime. But uh, I'm pretty excited about this, pretty stoked. Somewhat expensive. The idea, though, is as I'm getting older, uh, even with this mattress that I have, I have a um, Thermarest, very thin mattress. It's, it's a great mattress, but Sleeping on the ground is just becoming difficult for me, just getting old and, and all that type of thing. So I figured I would try a cot, but I want to be able to get out on the motorcycle and taking those large cots on the motorcycle uh, probably wasn't going to work out. So anyways, Helinox has really good, good quality. It's a, it actually comes with a good bag, just like all the Helinox stuff. It's a ripstop fabric, two different types of ripstop fabric. And um, I'll stop the camera, I'll move the camera around, and we'll see if we can put it together. seen enough of these videos online to know it's pretty straightforward as far as putting it together. So 
disciples and trustees. Vans. And it's shock corded like everything else that you get from Helinox. Very nice aluminum. This side up. So, I believe it goes like that. What's kind of nice is the shock cord has its uh, rectangular, which is really nice. You can see, I can't see the screen, unfortunately, with the Sony camera here, I can't frame it. So hopefully you can see it, but it has these, the difference between, I believe, the cut, the convertible and the regular cut. One is not only does it have these feet here, but it has these, these additional holes so you can add some feet that give it 15 more inches. I didn't buy those yet, I'm not sure I'm going to. I originally wanted to, but when I measured out the, the tent, I think this will be close enough to me. You see the side poles, the side poles are it looks like it's about an inch in diameter and they are shock corded as well. Then you just slide it through. It has this loop here. I believe the idea is that once you get it in, so they keep it from popping back out, put it underneath that section of material. There you go. Turn it over. The idea is pretty simple from what I've seen. These clips. And I believe there's, you can see the O-ring groove in the middle here. And there's an O-ring on the section, so that will go in there. Let's do it this way. Well, that's not right. Try again. So this side up, I don't know if you can see it. I had this upside down, by the way. See, first time putting it together. Flip that around just like that. This side up, that should work. So when you put this at the bottom of the cot, that should work a lot better. tight. This side up. You can see I'll push it over here. There's a lot of tension there. Wow, this is really, really light. You click in. There you go. Supposed to hold 320 pounds. You hit an ox cot. Now let's see how it fits in the tent. In the future, I might put this together inside the tent. So we'll see if I can get this through the door. And I'm not going to be able to. 
All right. Lesson learned, put this together in the tent. There you go. Works really well. So lesson learned with this cot, because the size of it, and you have to put it together upside down. Um, in this very small tent like this is a two-man Kelty Salida 2. Salida, Salida 2. I don't have the rain fly on. Uh, the one thing I noticed is the, the way I did it is actually pretty simple. Put one pole in while it's in and then take the other pole and have it out here and uh, slide it in while it's through the door. And then you should be able to get it in real quick. And then you saw when I flipped it over, it was hitting this mesh here. So I would recommend not staking in the tent yet. Stake in the tent after. Obviously, this is the first time I put it together. You're seeing the very first time I put it together from the package. So I'm sure I'll learn a few tricks. But anyways, thanks for joining me today. Hope you liked the video. And looking forward to trying this one out.